Valentine's Day is approaching and the shops are full of cards and flowers and romantic gifts. A celebration of love at a time when we could use a little happiness. What's wrong with that? My research at the Open University suggests that there are problems with Valentine's Day, both for those of us who are excluded from it and those of us who are included in it. My research on relationships, which is published in my book, Rewriting the Rules, has found that we tend to prioritise romantic love over all other kinds and that this can be really damaging to people. My research with colleagues at the Open University has found that we tend to focus on ideals of love and it put, this puts our relationships under a lot of pressure. Such work feeds into my work as a relationship therapist, helping couples in conflict and people who are looking for love. Do you think that romantic love is prioritised over other kinds? And if so, do you think that that's a problem? Single people are one main group who are excluded by Valentine's Day. When we're expected to find the one perfect match who will make us complete, the stigma around singledom is intense. Those without partners face painful reminders of their not quite normal status as they pass image after image of happy smiling couples. Valentine's Day also reminds us that the kind of love we're assumed to want is heterosexual, despite recent shifts in acceptance of same-sex relationships. Many of the cars are presented from my husband or boyfriend to my wife or girlfriend and vice versa. There are other people who are excluded from Valentine's Day, for example somebody with multiple partners who goes to a restaurant on the night when all the tables are set for two, or somebody who's in a non-sexual relationship when romantic love is often assumed to be sexual as well. Do you agree that Valentine's Day is problematic in some ways? And what about other ways in which certain kind of relationships are assumed to be the ideal or the norm? The reasons why Valentine's Day can also be bad for those of us who are included within it might be less obvious. This huge celebration of romantic love shows us just how much it is prioritised over all other kinds of relationships – friends, family, colleagues, neighbours. When we focus so much on one kind of relationship, we can become quite isolated in it and dependent on one person to meet all of our needs. This puts us under a lot of pressure. Intimate relationships are actually extremely challenging. Our partners see sides of us that we're not comfortable with and there are bound to be many areas on which we disagree. Valentine's Day can be really hard when our relationship fails to match up to the high expectations that we have of love. Instead of focusing on romantic relationships, we could expand our idea of love out to consider all of the different relationships that we have in our lives. Um, instead of pressurising the romantic relationship to meet all our needs, we could think about all the different people we're close to and the different things that we get from each of them. Rather than ignoring Valentine's Day or celebrating it in a conventional way, we might think about ways of doing it differently. Send a card to a friend or flowers to a workmate. Watch an unromantic comedy. Celebrate celibacy. Spend an evening alone doing something that you enjoy but a partner doesn't. Or think about ways of celebrating all of the relationships in your life. You could consider how you might expand your love for a partner out to include a friend, a stranger or even an enemy. Even small steps like this can go a long way towards changing the world. Do you celebrate Valentine's Day at all? Or perhaps you'd like to share your own unique perspective on the occasion. We'd love to hear all about your experiences with Valentine's Day. Don't forget to join us on the Open University official Facebook page on the 14th of February at 1.30 to discuss and debate further.